ghosts, skeletons, wicked witches, and bloodthirsty ghouls? Soon, they will gather at a terrifying Halloween party. Today, we will tell you how to become king at the creepiest and scariest party of the year. And for the first spooky life hack, you will need a disposable glove and painter's tape. Pull the glove on your arm. Wind the tape around your wrist. Insert a straw. Keep wrapping your hand with tape. Separately wrap your fingers. Fill the empty space with tape. Take out the straw. Cut the glove from the inside of the palm. Release your hand. Glue the place of the cut with tape. Can I shake your paper hand? Cover a lamp with a paper lampshade. The glowing mummy's hand will make the Halloween night even more eerie. Next, take a paper template of a skull and cut it in half. Apply the parts of the template to black cardboard. Secure it using Elmer's glue. You will need some double-sided tape and a whole box of googly eyes. Coat the entire surface of the paper skull with strips of tape. Secure the eyes on the tape. The end result is an amusing big-eyed skull. Insert the cardboard into the frame. A panel with a skull with eyes will surprise your friends and help create a freaky Halloween atmosphere in your house. It's time to create an image that could scare anyone. Cover your face with white makeup. Draw a black smile with black eyeliner. Decorate the smile line with vertical stripes. Draw rows of teeth, smoothing and rounding the lines. Paint the space around the smile black. Darken your temples. Also, paint the tip of your nose black. Emphasize the contrast with whitewash. Shade the skin around your eyes. Circle your eyes with a thick black border. Make it streaky with a cotton swab. Draw black and gray highlights. Apply red shadows on the eyelid. Paint your neck black. Draw the vertebrae of your spine. All that's left is enhancing the makeup with the right suit. The skeleton bride is simply terrible, in the good sense of the word. Are you ready to open the door to another world? And now you need a container honey, and some water. Pour honey into an empty container. Three tablespoons of water will suffice for this amount of honey. Add red and maroon food coloring into the honey water. Mix thoroughly until the pigment is completely dissolved. Tear a napkin into small pieces. Add Elmer's glue. Attach paper pieces to your hand. Make the paper look like skin with the help of a concealer palette. Create an imitation of a freshly torn wound. Fill the wound with fake honey blood. Create bloody splashes outside the wound for an even greater effect. The blood pouring down the arm looks so real. Spooky! For the next eerie idea, print out and cut out a picture of a bat. You need bats of different sizes and shapes. Prepare a headband and a wire. Fasten the wire to the rim in this way. Make several antennas. Glue the bats to the wire. Mount smaller bats below. How do you look like this gothic for the darkest party of the year? This time, you need a glow-in-the-dark sticker. Draw and cut out a skull. Let's remember our anatomy lessons and cut bones, ribs, wrists, 
and hips out of paper. Put a black suit on and attach the stickers to your clothes. The skull is attached directly to the back of your head. The skeleton suit is ready. Turn off the light. In pitch darkness, it looks much more impressive. A hot Roomba dance performed by a skeleton is a great idea for meeting guests. And for this idea, you need a pack of berry gelatin. Pour the gelatin powder into a glass container. Dissolve it in hot water according to the instructions. Put a skeleton figurine in a clear glass. Pour in the jelly solution. To make the color even brighter, add a few drops of red food coloring. Stir. Decorate another portion of the bloody dessert with jelly eyes and tongue. You will remember this bloody night for a long time. Are you scared yet? For another monstrous treats idea, you need a soft cookie. Transfer it into a bag. Crush it up with a hammer. Add condensed milk into the cookie crumbs. Stir. Cut bananas into rings and prepare a small bucket. Transfer the layers of cookies and bananas. Gently compress the top layer. Open an Oreo cookie. Divide the halves and clean off the creamy layer. Grind it up. Pour it into the bucket. Lay out some jelly worms and pour black Oreo crumbs on top. Decorate the dessert with mint stalks. Don't you want to taste some worms straight out of the ground? You know, I'm actually not hungry. Well, if you insist. Well, actually, the taste is quite nice. And now take some paper and draw Count Dracula in his signature cloak. Attach a piece of black paper on the back of the sheet. Cut out the vampire following the outline. Stock up with sweets. Wrap the bar with scrap paper. With a hot glue gun, fasten the yummy to the drawing. Fold Dracula's wings. Tie them with a bright ribbon. Pull at the bow, and the vampire has a sweet surprise for you. Let's show off one more life hack with a rubber glove. You will need many, many sweets and candies. Fill the glove with sweets. Put a rubber eyeball inside. Bind the glove with a ribbon. Attach black claws from a foam rubber sheet. A terribly pretty package in a Halloween style is ready. Trick or treat! For this life hack, you will need baking paper and a pencil. Decorate the edge of the paper with fringe. Make small cuts up to one inch deep. Make bigger incisions on the other side. Wrap the pencil in paper. Secure it in the middle. Tie it with a black ribbon. Now you've got a pencil broom. I'd love to see the mini witches that flew on these broomsticks. Pick out some light cloth and wire. Shape a little man out of the wire. Cut the fabric into long, thin strips. Wrap the wire with fabric strips. Give the finished figure a sitting pose. Mummies come to life. This isn't your friend's nightmare made reality but a theme decoration for your house.
How can you even have Halloween without a pumpkin? You will need acrylic paint and a foam rubber brush. Paint the figured sides of the pumpkin white. Apply a drawing using a plain pencil. Paint it. Choose juicy colors. Having finished with a pumpkin face, paint the other sides of the vegetable. You can use floral ornaments or draw a spider web. Put a candle in place of the stem. Our pumpkin would take first prize at a Miss Terror contest. To properly frighten your friends, you need a small plastic canister and a foam tube. Apply black spray paint. Decorate ping pong balls with googly eyes. Fasten to the neck of the canister using hot glue. Make an incision on the tube a little way away from the edge. Wrap the cut with some insulating tape. Do the same on the other side. You need four tubes in total. Place the tubes back to back. Attach the canister with eyes in the center. Fold the spider's legs and set it at the entrance to the house. This giant spider is the constant companion of panic and terror. You will remember this visit for a long time. But let's not leave this spider without cobwebs. You'll need push pins and a hammer. Hammer the buttons into the wall in the shape of an octagon. Now you need thick sewing thread and regular thread. Pull the thick thread around the perimeter of the shape. Pull the regular thread in the middle. Use more push pins as fasteners. The wall web is ready. Who lives here? Ah! It's a giant spider! Now you know how to scare your friends with a huge black spider, how to make blood from honey, and how to do smoky eye makeup in the style of a skeleton bride. Which of these ideas will you frighten your friends with? And don't forget to put a like on this video and subscribe to our channel. Click on the bell, there's a lot of interesting things ahead.